Attention! Detail. Post. Present arms. Order arms. Represented on our bench. For the past 30 years or more, the Monk community has been a vital part of the fabric of St. Paul and Ramsey County. Judge Yang epitomizes the American dream as a member of the Monk community. He came to this country as a child refugee. He grew up in our community. He was the first member of his family to attend college. And then he took the ultimate gamble by starting his own private law practice, and he succeeded. Judge Yang, you certainly will have an opportunity to use the skills that you developed in multiple practice areas as a Ramsey County judge. So Judge Yang, on behalf of your new judicial colleagues, I'd like to welcome you to the second judicial district bench. And I'll remind you that we do have a reception for Judge Yang following today's program right here in the Great Hall, hosted by Marley Yang. So let us uh, proceed with our program today. Um, and sure I have everything in the right order. Um, our first speaker today is Dr. Pao Ku, a family friend. The podium is yours. Thank you. Family, friends, honor guests, and all the honorable judges. It is a great honor and a privilege 
for me to join you here today for this historical and momentous occasion, the investiture of Judge Paul, Paul Yang. A little more than 40 years ago, there were many who doubted that us Hmong would be able to assimilate to the American way of life and that we wouldn't be able to thrive here in America, mainly because many of our parents were uneducated and had never had any kind of formal education. But today, you, Judge Paul Young, along with uh, many other elected Hmong officials and the countless professionals throughout the United States, have proven that yes, we can indeed assimilate. And yes, we can thrive here in America. We have been privileged to have been in the only country in the world where we can have the opportunity to be all that we can in chasing after our dreams. So today, Judge Yang, you are living that dream. And today, you will not only be a role model for us Hmong here in Minnesota, but you will be a role model for all Hmongs in the United States and throughout the world. You are a man with deep family values, compassionate, fair-minded, and good temperament. These characters, along with your vast experience as an attorney for the past 15 years, will serve you well as a judge. So may God help you, guide you, and I wish you a happy, successful, and fulfilling career as a judge. Thank you.
the larger community, and of course, in the life of our new judge, Paul Yang, and his beautiful family. Lest you think that I am the investiture crasher from Dakota County, Judge Yang invited me. <laughs> he asked me to introduce him to the lawyers and judges in Ramsey County who do not yet know him well. You see, in addition to his private law practice, Judge Yang spent much of his working life as an attorney in the First Judicial District. We know him well. We count him as ours. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce him to you. The late Supreme Court Justice Benjamin Cardozo wrote, there is in each of us a stream of tendency, whether you choose to call it philosophy or not, which gives coherence and direction to thought and action. Judges cannot escape that current any more than other mortals. So what are those streams of tendency I have seen in Judge Yang for the past 13 years? Patience, open-mindedness, courtesy, tact, punctuality, understanding, compassion, humility, a strong work ethic, and common sense. In preparation for today, I asked my Dakota County bench colleagues, prosecutors in the Dakota County Attorney's Office, and Paul's former colleagues in the Public Defender's Office about their impressions of him. And here are a few of their comments. First, the man is completely unflappable. So many times over the years, Paul would be standing next to a client who went off script. No looks of frustration, surprise, or exasperation from Paul. He would stare straight ahead. He'd listen calmly for a brief period of time. Lightly touched his client's arm to interrupt the verbal flow, and then proceeded with his presentation. This man is calm under fire. He's patient and respectful. One of the seasoned prosecutors told me that as she prepares for court, she regularly checks her files to see who is defending the case. When she saw Paul's name listed, she felt that it set up her entire day for the better. He is the consummate professional, and even when he had differences with the state or the judge, it was never personal for him. He never made it personal. He has compassion, and I'd like to share with you a story in the words of one of my colleagues, one of my bench colleagues. She writes, Howe is one of my favorite lawyers ever. He is unfailingly kind, professional, compassionate, quiet, but courageous. He has so many strengths, and yet is a person of deep humility. He has a wonderful sense of humor, too. One of the most powerful moments I ever had in Portland was a sentencing involving an immigrant from another country, represented by Powell and facing a long prison term. It was a very difficult case in trying to determine whether to give the defendant a second chance. When Powell began speaking on his client's behalf, the crowded courtroom became perfectly still. Tears started to slowly roll down Powell's cheeks as he began to describe his own immigrant experience and why this person deserved a second chance. By the time he finished, the entire courtroom was choked up. Very, very powerful. I think he will make such a wonderful judge. Two exclamation points. <laughs> I am so happy for him and for Ramsey County. Three exclamation points. <laughs> As long as I'm sharing impressions from the Dakota County bench, here are brief comments from two additional judges. One writes, I have always found Powell to be a very kind-hearted man who genuinely feels compassion for the clients he has represented in front of me. His arguments have always been well-reasoned and well-researched. His level of professionalism and integrity is beyond. 
blonde in question. He's friendly and has always been experienced. He has always had great patience and rapport with his clients. Extremely respectful of all the parties in the process and in the courtroom, including clerks. How is hard working and punctual? I think Paul beat me to the courthouse most mornings, and he was ready to work. Judges, you, know, you all know the public lawyers who are ready to help out in a pinch, and you hope that lawyer is in your courtroom when the need arises. Well, Paul was always that lawyer. Paul's successor has been selected and is set to begin any day now. His managing attorney told me that the files he turned over are in such good shape that his successor will be able to step right in. After the election, Paul continued to work his cases diligently, settling many. As one attorney said, he played through the whistle. So are you good folks in Ramsey County feeling pretty lucky today? <laughs> as a judge, I watched as attorneys enter the courtroom. There are days when I see one or two who cause me to pause and think, oh boy. By the way, that is by far the exception. On the other end of the spectrum, there are those few lawyers who enter the courtroom who cause me to reflect, today is going to be a good day. How is that lawyer? I remember my days as an assistant Dakota County attorney. I had the exact same experience walking into the courtroom catching my first glimpse of the presiding judge of the day. The demeanor, skill, and temperament of the judge often made the difference between a good day and a bruising day. I promise the attorneys here today that when you walk into the courtroom and see Judge Yang on the bench, you'll nod your head and with appreciation know that you're about to have a very good day. So congratulations, Judge Yang. We will miss you in Dakota County, but we know that this is where you are meant to be. And this is work you are meant to do. ...from about 1850. And, uh, we'll have you do that. <laughs> of the judge of the second judicial district. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. According to the law. According to the law. And to the best of my judgment and ability. And to the best of my judgment and ability. So help me God. So help me God. May I please the court, Chief Judge Gov Government, Minas Supreme Court Justice Hudson, Minnesota Court of Appeal Justice, Minnesota Court of Appeal Judge Johnson, uh, Minnesota Court of Appeal uh, Judge Norman, District Court Judges from the First Judicial, judicial District, my fellow judges from uh, the Second Judicial, judicial District, Distinguished uh, guests, families, and friends. 
Thank you for taking the time off today of your busy schedule to join me and my family on this special um, occasion and on this um, especially cold day today. First, I want to um, thank my parents. My parents have uh, sacrificed everything to bring me and my sibling to America. And uh, they, they came with nothing, just the clothes on their back. And they're able to settle in, in America. They're able to work hard for a second life and send me and my, my sister to college. And uh, mom and dad, can you stand up? Thank you very much. Can And thank you to my two sister-in-laws. Thank you to my uh, sisters and my brother-in-law. Thank you for always being there for me. And thank you to my father-in-law uh, and my mother-in-law for also always being there for me. And I also want to thank my wife, Molly Yang, my three daughters, Ashley Yang, who just heard from her. She would give the better speech than me. <laughs> <laughs> and Isabella, uh, my grace, my baby. <laughs> thank you for your love, support, and your patience. Because you know at times, that can be a pain in the butt. So thank you. And my wife and my daughter, Ashley, um, um, were really hard on my campaign. They are like the second chair, the third chair, the fourth <laughs> chair of my campaign. The day that uh, I show up for a campaign event and just me and my wife and my three daughters. So thank you for everything. And I also want to thank the Public Defender's Office. Uh, Chief, Chief um, Steve Holger um, in the First Judicial District Public Defender's Office, the County Attorney's Office. I want to thank Judge Karen Asfaw and um, the judges from the First Judicial District Court. I know that the work that we do in the district court level is challenging, is hectic, and it's plentiful. As we finish one case, we are moving right on to the second case. We do not have enough time to reflect. We do not have enough time to, um, to be thankful of the people that help us through the day or through the case. And even me, I might not um, say thank you enough to each of you, but I do want you to know that you have helped me one way or another to become a better person to be a better attorney, and to be where I am today, so thank you. I also want to thank my campaign team and supporters for believing in me. I am proud that we won the election without having a single pay staff, so 100% of my teams are, 100% uh, of them are volunteers, no pay staff. Last but not least, I want, to, I want to thank the voters in Ramsey County for believing in me and for believing in my story. Growing up in America as an immigrant teenager, I knew that I was different from my classmates. I, I have a hard, harder time making friends. I try harder to fit in. I even enjoyed fo the football team in my freshman year in high school. But at the time, I was barely five feet tall, 100 pounds. So you figure how that turned out. <laughs> I did not get to party march in high school. So I did have my shortcoming and challenges growing up. But it did not stop me from working hard did not stop me from studying hard. And I, like it was mentioned earlier, I was the first in my family to go to college and subsequently enter law school. I was able to put myself in a position 
to achieve the American dream. Immigration is currently a controversial and a political topic, but when we, if we were to closely examine the history of immigration in our country, the story of, of immigrant is often a story of success. Every new group of immigrants, ranging from the Irish to the German to the Norwegian, the Chinese, the Hmong, which I am, the Somali, and so on, were successful after they arrived in, the, in America. And as myself an immigrant, and an attorney, I often ask myself, what contribute to the success of those of us immigrants? And I truly believe that the common denominator for the success of us immigrants is the equal protection of the law. And also, that the judicial branch is exceptional. In conclusion, I am take, take, as I taking my role as a district court judge, I am taking my role as a district court judge seriously, and I understand that you come with great responsibility and hard work. I will not forget where I came from or how I get here. I am, I am honored and humbled to be part of the Ramsey County bench, which has a long history of excellence. I am confident that I can contribute to the bench and to the community because I am willing to listen and willing to learn from some of the best judges in Ramsey County. Every time I put on the rope, I expect my courtroom to be exceptional. เนี่ยจงเจนะจีกิเตเนจามเนาะตะวันตะเจรงชาเกนุนอเมกงดูมงทีเนกวลตะชินงกุญาจนทางอ่าแลมอร์เกขอเชิดเกดะเปตุนจ
我们都在这里面 那么都都正常在正有拉个头可能来打听还有一个别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的别的
ก็ตัวเลยคือเป้มองอยู่ตัวตุ๊ดเซตุ๊ดเจ๋นู่นนอก็ปู่เลยคือพอ Kana ไปเขียนไปตัวเนี่ยเฮายิงตัวไหนเนี่ยเต๋อท้อก็ได้ จะเกณฑ์เกี่ยวมีการที่ดีจะไปจะมุ่งต่อไปจะมุ่งต่อจะปิดต่อต่อยังรู้อีกหนึ่งตัวอีกชิ้นตัวเฉาเท่าไหร